while cells are not all the same, they do all have a few things in common. The first thing that all cells have in common is the cell membrane. This is the thick black line in the image. Sometimes the cell membrane is also called the plasma membrane. Second, every cell has DNA. DNA is like a blueprint that tells the cell how to build proteins. So, tell me what the third thing is that all cells have in common. That's close. The third thing all cells have in common is something called a liquid cytoplasm. In the image, it's the blue stuff that looks like pool water. Since it looks like a pool, you may not be surprised to know that the cytoplasm is mostly made up of water. This is why we call it a liquid cytoplasm. To help you to remember the three things that all cells have in common, I have a mental visualization for you. I like to think about a Ziploc bag filled with water and strings. The bag is like the cell membrane. The water is like the liquid cytoplasm. The DNA would be little strings floating in the water. Okay, now I want you to summarize everything that was just covered. Type your summary in the box and press enter. Let's work on this some more. I think we should talk a little bit about cells now. How many basic types of cells are there? Okay, good. There are two types of cells. What are the two types of cells? Cool. The two types of cells are prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. What do prokaryotic cells not have? That's not it. Do prokaryotic cells have membrane-bound organelles? Ah, uh, no. That's okay. We're gonna figure it out. Let's see what you know about examples of the different types of cells. What is an example of a prokaryotic cell? <laughs> 